Vicky says, uh, I look like a monstrosity when I'm at home, bra off, jogging bottoms on, put my oh, hair yeah. up. bra off. Do you know, oh, the bra off. bra off. Moment. The bra off and a good scrap. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that is better than anything. I know. To be, I'm, I mean, I'm, maybe not so much of the scratch, but that literally on the way home, it's out through the yeah. sleeve, yeah. out through the, up through the back, and then, <laughs> yep, tucked in the handbag. On the way home. And off we go. And that's all we have time for today. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen joins me now. <laughs> Colleen, no, I'm aghast because I keep my brown all the time. All the time? I even sleep in it. Do and you? I didn't realise that that was weird. Because I said that this morning and everybody went, what? What are you talking about? I know. Yeah, I, I can't take it. Oh, I don't feel right when I take it. I'm doing that. Look, I'm doing that. <laughs> but, but I don't feel right when I take my brown. It feels weird. Oh. But you, but you, when you come I home. I don't take it off in the car like Andrea. No, no, I mean, no, no, I no. I draw the line. I draw the line. Yeah. Okay, I usually I take all my makeup off and put my hair, scrape my hair up. But the bra remains. Oh. Maybe I'm odd. I'm feeling quite odd now. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I we'll am. We'll talk about it in the we'll break. Talk about it yeah. after. Mm -hmm. Colleen, mm -hmm. this is so exciting. I can't believe you've not done this before. I bet you've been asked before to tread the boards and be, you know, acting, singing, all of that. Yes, but I this have. This is the first one. This, uh, so I have been <laughs> asked very nicely over the years. Sure. Um, to to be in, um, you know, musicals and sure. plays and things like that. But it's never been the right time because my okay. kids were young and it involved either touring with it or, or coming to London. Right. And I didn't want to uproot the kids. Um, and I've always been slightly nervous about it because it's something my sisters have always done and are so good at. And mm. I thought, I might be the letdown. And I've always <laughs> been like, I'm not going to do it. And then I got offered this fabulous play called Thunder Girls. Um, and it's... It was just, it I just read fits. it and thought it just fits. And it's the right time? It's the right time my kids are growing up. It's at the moment, um, the book of, of this is going to be released in the summer worldwide. Right. And um, it's a fantastic read. And obviously this is taken from the book, you know, it's based on the book and it's just, um, it's so much fun. And what people don't know is with all these reunion tours that happen, mm -hmm. is that's what happens. As in, you have to get all the band back together and sit round a table. And if there is any issues, you've that got to get, them, there, out, you've got to get yeah. them out. You know, um, so it's kind of letting people see what actually goes on mm. before a reunion happens, or if indeed it ever does happen. Do you know what? Case. It sort of reminds me. It's kind of like the Mamma Mia thing, isn't it? In a way, I could see this really. You know, it could be a movie. It could yeah, be, yeah. It, it's one of those ones that I think will really resonate. You've got yeah. a great cast a as great well. A great cast, yeah. Beverly Callard and um, Mina Amwar and. You know, it's really nerve-wracking for me, I'm Are not going to lie. Are you Look at me. I can, see, I can tell I, you're a little yes, bit nervous but You know this. what it was? I got asked to do it and I was so... I'm always thrilled when someone asks me to do something. Um, <laughs> but again, it was at the right time. There was a part of me thought, oh, I'm 54, do I want to be putting myself through that now? And then I thought, that's exactly why I should be. Exactly. You know, it's really made me think life doesn't have to end in your 50s. I think you're but right. But I made sure that I auditioned for it. I said, right. please don't just offer it to me. I need to audition. And make because sure I that you... Because I need you yeah. to be honest and go... Forget it, actually, you're rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> or you can do it. Anyway, the audition went well. And, I'm um, so glad. And, felt, and it's, and it's a good better. idea. You know when you go through it, I mean, a big life-changing thing, you've been very open about the fact that you, mm. you know, you're know, you divorced, but the both of you are friends Yeah, still. really good friends. But when, you, when something like that happens to you, a big life-changing thing, a lot of women will cut their hair mm. or change the colour of their hair, change mm. their wardrobe, change their job, do something new, a challenge, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're challenging yourself, and yeah. it's a good thing. Yeah, I am challenging myself. And also, because I've gone through that stage of my kids are grown up now, mm -hmm. need me a little bit, you know, you feel a bit redundant. Yeah. And I think the easiest thing is to sit there and go, oh, that's me done. And I want to kind of go, it's not me done. I can okay. now do more because I don't have to have that mum guilt of yeah. leaving my kids. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel ready, or do you think you'll ever feel ready to get out there again and date again? Do you think? <laughs> Fill you with horror a little um, bit. It doesn't fill me with horror. It no. just fills me with I'm mortified. I'm <laughs> blushing now. I thought it turns me into a twelve-year-old again. Gosh, I don't you know. know how, I, I how don't know you, how to do it. No, how no. do you start? No, what do you no, do? No. And that whole thing of what's your favourite colour? Oh, what bands no. do you like? No. <laughs> and then pretending you like them as well. Oh, and inside thinking that oh, I've never heard of them. All of that. Um, yeah. So no, I, at the moment, the only thing I've done, I haven't changed my hair. I certainly haven't lost weight, but I just keep buying animals. So it's do you? Fine. Oh, have you got a menagerie? 
<laughs> I've literally got a very small zoo. <laughs> I've got that. 12 animals now. Have you? Yes. But don't you think they give you such comfort and joy? I it's think un it's that. Unrequited love. Yeah. Oh, look. That's my latest um, <laughs> henna, she's called. It's fantastic. Little henna, yeah. So. Oh, that's true. I think that's a great, it's a great way to heal yourself you as see, well. Look, she doesn't care that I've no makeup on. No, or they what don't. What size they, I they am don't. or all of they that. They don't give a monkey's really, they really don't. She just wants a carrot. But I think this is going to be such a great thing for you to do. The well, I, I really I, do. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a week um, at the Lowry in Salford yeah. in starting September the 24th. And, and um, since it's been announced and each person that's in it has been announced, it's selling really well, which Sweet. is great. No, I think it's so really So if you good. are thinking of going, book your tickets, because it's literally seven shows. And then um, they're already on about touring it. I can imagine. And the thing is, you year. can do that now. I can. You can if you want to. Yeah. You can. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. You, you can... I'll see how I get on it this <laughs> week. See how that happens. Might be enough for me. Well, do you know what? I will be sitting there watching, but I will have my brow on. <laughs> <laughs> get it off and have a good scratch. Your life will change, no, I Lorraine. Can. Honestly, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't do it. I cannot. Wow, the girls have never been free. They've never been free. Wow. Well, you learn everything, <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs>